GCC chemistry actually ended up becoming one of my favourite subjects by the end of GCSEs. I failed it in November year 11 and in January I got 8 in my mocks, 1 mark of 9 I think, and then I ended up getting a 9 in the actual exam and it was my highest mark of all of my sciences. Today I'm going to be explaining what you can do in the last day or last two days to improve your chemistry grade and what I'd recommend before chemistry exam. Just want to say a few things first of all and then I'll get straight into it. Number one is just a reminder, I'm selling my 40 up 40 English language story for £2. So that's going to be the links in my bio. I'd really recommend buying this, reading it. Um, it's just going to be really useful because for the upcoming paper one exam and it's a original 40 out of 40 mark answer. Secondly, I just want to say well done for everyone so far during GCSEs. I think one thing that maybe people don't quite realise because a lot of people have said that exams are going quite well, you know, they're going good, is I think people underestimate how much in their minds exams seem way more difficult than they actually are. And also people underestimate how in that exam room, in that exam hall, things just seem to come together quite well. I definitely experienced that in my GCSEs and I know you have bad papers, I had bad papers, everyone has bad papers, but I want to give I want to give you a bit more motivation that GCSEs are difficult, but they aren't. I feel like they're made out to be a lot more difficult than they are in some cases. So be positive about the fact that exams are going well. This doesn't mean the grade boundaries are going to be crazy. I don't think the grade boundaries are going to change as much as people think they will. But yeah, I'm sure chemistry is going to be more like more of the same as well in terms of good exams. And when you get in that exam room, I think people are just performing better than they expected. So yeah, keep updating me on exams and everything like that. But I'm going to get straight into this video now. So for chemistry, for me, I kind of would say I almost cracked GCSE chemistry in a way because I really like massively improved my grade. And the thing I did that kind of made me realise that kind of made me crack it, I guess, is that I just kind of realised that GCSE chemistry, it's like there's a lot of there's not a lot. There's there's a couple core, really core fundamental things you need to know. And once you know them, the rest of chemistry just becomes quite easy. It's not that difficult at all. So my advice would be to try and make sure you brush over these basics in chemistry. For example, things like the size, of, how the size of an atom affects its properties. So if an atom's bigger, like if a group one atom is bigger, then this makes it more reactive because it's shells, there's more shells between the outer electron and the positive nucleus, so the electron's more easily lost. It's that kind of logic, those basic things that just come up again and again and again. 100% or almost 100% I would predict that you're going to get a question on Friday in chemistry on something like reactivity explain why this is more reactive than this something like that what you'll find especially in chemistry not quite like biology which is a bit more memorization but a lot of the same things come up again and again and again so what I'd recommend is just brush over the basics okay this is things like atom size properties of atoms uh, types of reactions, what affects reactions, and what chemistry and science does is they try and take these simple concepts and they make it more difficult. So they'll call a compound like something, some really long, complicated name, and you'll be like, what is that? And it's the people who can decipher what are they trying to ask you, who, it's the people who can look at a question and think, okay, this sounds confusing, but what are they trying to get out of me here? What are they trying to ask me? These are the ones that are going to do the best on that exam, and these are the people who are the best at science. And GCSEs in general too, is the people who can take a step back so if you see a question that's really, really confusing, I'd recommend go for it anyway. Okay, answer everything, even if it's complete waffle and you're guessing, answer everything. But just take a step back and think, what are they asking me? Try and find out what they're actually asking you, because often it will just be the basic stuff that I've just talked about. So one thing that's going to really help with this is as many practice questions as you can. Just do loads, okay? After this video, or obviously there's maths tomorrow, so make sure you're revising for that. But if you have a bit of time, do it today. Or if you're watching this video tomorrow, when chemistry is the day after, then just do lots and lots of chemistry practice questions, okay? It's very easy to go on YouTube, watch loads, but I'd really recommend you just go off, turn this video off afterwards, and go do some questions, or at least make sure you do some. On the day of the exam, I'd recommend maybe doing like 10 questions, get yourself in the mood of chemistry in the morning. But the more questions you do, the more you'll realise what I came to realise, which is a lot of them are very, very, very similar. So one of the best things you can do is just practice a lot and a lot for that. Practicals too, just a reminder, make sure you know your practicals. This is guaranteed to be like at least 10 marks on the exam. Um, in those six mark practical questions, make sure you always reread it and think, does this make sense? Because that's all it needs is for it to make sense and be logical for that to be six out of six marks. Always add stuff like safety procedures and always add stuff like repeat and calculate a mean or something like that, just to make sure it's repeatable. So yeah, revise the practicals, do free science lessons, just make sure you don't neglect them at all because these are a lot of marks and it's very important to get these marks. Finally, 
free science lessons or YouTube, I'd recommend just going over some of them, take a look through free science lessons topics, think, um, look at any topics you see that you don't understand or you're like, what is this? I need a reminder of this and just give them a watch. So that'd be my advice to chemistry. I really hope it goes well and I'm very sure it will. I think Jesus he's have gone well for a lot of people so far and that's because of the effort you've put in that they're a little bit easier than people think. Well, not necessarily easier, you're just more prepared for them than you think. So yeah, good luck. Thanks for watching and please, please make sure you subscribe and leave a like. Let's try to get to 10,000 subscribers before the end of GCSE season. Okay, thanks for watching.